Yes, I know I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to McDonald's and getting myself a breakfast sandwich for a dollar using the app. And this is why I love the app. Look at the line of cars. And I get to go over here and park in curbside and they bring it out to me, which I actually enjoy instead of waiting through this big long line. And I get to sit in the shade instead of sitting in the sun. less than two minutes and if I'd been in the drive up I'd still be in the drive up so off to Banny's to look at plants you know I just came from the post office I'm doing all my morning runs you know I still got breakfast sitting here beside me that I haven't eaten but if you don't catch it by 1030 you won't get double the points on it and so I try to do it before 1030 if I'm gonna do it but it'll be fine it's just a few minutes more but anyway, I went to the post office this morning. There haven't been any more coupons in my mailbox there. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I could save probably close to $100 a year by just doing away with my post office box. But I actually enjoy having him. I think it comes in handy for some things that I'm afraid will get ripped off if it goes to my street address because, yes, they do that an awful lot. Stop at Vanny's on my way and see if she actually has any vegetable garden plants or if it's just flowers she's got. Well, she had cabbage and Brussels sprouts and, um, oh, what is that other one? Cauliflower. But they take up too much room and she had sage, but I already have sage. I could actually do a cutting of my own sage and try it. So there's nothing here that I need. She had some turnip greens and mustard greens, but I planted those from seeds along with kale from seeds. And she had kale, but it was ornamental kale. Dollar General store has 50% off their gardening stuff right now. They don't have any pool noodles. Yeah, I looked. There's nothing that I actually need here. Think about the garden flags. There's really nothing that I need. That's one thing about when you put yourself on a budget. You really get down to looking at what you need and what you want. For 54 cents, I got two flags. I got this one that's two butterflies. And this one that is two ladybugs. And they are 12 inches by 18 inches. And they're garden flags. And the two together were 54 cents. It's almost 90 degrees out there in my car. So I gave 54 cents for that at uh, Dollar General store. They got 50% off of their garden stuff that's already clearance marked. I gave a dollar a can for each of those wasp and hornet killers. And I bought another flag, a big one and I gave 87 cents for him. And I thought he was terribly cute. And he was only 87 cents. And you see he is a 28 by 40. And I plan on using this stuff next year. Yes, I'll garden again. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. That's how I stayed married for 30 years. <laughs> glutton for punishment. Each of these were 50 cents and no I really didn't need the shade area ones because I actually have a box or two of them that I bought in the spring of this year and gave two dollars for or maybe a dollar for them at the Dollar Tree I don't know but uh, for 50 cents I went ahead and got those three so for four cans of spray and I'm telling you that spray is usually three something a can anywhere else that you buy it if you look it up uh, I think online at Amazon three cans on Amazon was like 25 bucks so I got four cans for $4 uh, two of them is probably gonna go to my daughter because she said she wanted some and 87 cents and a dollar fifty that came to six dollars and ninety cents 
And I probably should have stopped there, but I wanted to go see if another store, Dollar General store, had other flags. And uh, the other one I went to didn't have flags, but it did have pruners. And a handsaw, a fold-out handsaw. I have one fold-out handsaw, but mine is really long. And there are some times when I wish I had a shorter one. And these are regularly $10, and I got them for $2.25 each. This guy is shorter than mine. And no, I didn't take him out of his package because he had staples on him. But I did take the pruner because he just slides out of his package. And I checked him out on the paper. And so he cuts very well. You know, sometimes you get these things and the blades aren't pre-sharpened, which I find strange. It's like a hoe. When you buy a hoe, they're not very sharp. This guy is actually sharp, and I went ahead and bought two of them because I have a bad habit. <laughs> Don't laugh at people. I have a bad habit of leaving my pruners out on the garden somewhere and not finding them for a long time. And it's a terrible way to be, but... I'm not sure where my last pruners are, and I know I'm going to have a lot of pruning to do this fall, going into winter when the weather gets cooler. So I figured for $2.25, and it's the sharp one, I went ahead and bought two of them. There were still some there. I don't take the last of anything. I try never to do that because I feel like if I find a blessing, I should leave a blessing there for somebody else to buy. Or in the case of my daughter, I pick up extra to bless her. And uh, so that was uh, $8.12. And all together, the $8.12 and the $6.90 and the $0.54, cents, I think I came out, I tallied it up, $15 and something. So less than $16. And I got some garden stuff, something to make me smile, something to take care of the nasty little wasp because I did have an issue with them this year, and no, I don't always go right to a spray. Over my back door, I vacuumed it first, and then they kept coming back until I actually sprayed them with some wasp spray. But I'm down to my last can, and it's almost empty, because when I spray, I give it a really good spraying. And uh, for a dollar a can, yeah, I bought four of them, and another lady there bought another two. And I've got some more seeds, and so that's what I spent it on. And I'm I'm happy with what I bought. Now, I don't know if I should take this off of my $100 expenses or not. Or if maybe I should start a new thing for gardening. But that's kind of cheating, isn't it? So I was trying to stay within $100 spending on groceries and whatever I considered entertainment or fun. To me, my gardening is my hobby. I don't know. I guess we'll take it off of that. My daughter will give me $2 back if I ask her for it on the cans. I probably won't ask her for it, though. I don't generally do that. You know, it's funny if I borrow some bot from someone. Like, I borrowed $0.75 cents from her to get something in the store because I didn't have change, and I felt funny running a credit card. And uh, then as soon as we got out to the car, oh, it was for the cereal in that Ollie store. And uh, as soon as we got out to the car, I gave her her 75 cents back. And uh, that's just the way I am. But I don't expect everybody else to be that way. But anyway, if you get a chance, get out there and go to Dollar General store. I mean, they've got pots and stuff like that. I'm just not into buying pots right now. I don't know what I want to do for gardening. I'm on the search for a pool noodle. But you know what? All the Dollar Trees are telling me that they didn't get any in. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a pool noodle. It's just the way it is sometimes. I did check my calculator real quick, and it was $15.56. And so, yes. Thank you, Lord. That was quite a blessing. But you know, guys, if I was really struggling to get by everything that's laying down here is more of a want like I have a handsaw he's just hard to get into tight places when I'm pruning trees 
and I thought this one might be easier on my plum tree when I'm doing him. Everything down here is a want, it's not a need. So if I was raising three kids and living on a fixed income like I do now, I probably wouldn't have bought any of this because most of this is just for me. And I only buy things when I had children that were really for the family to get us by when times were hard in the 80s. I might have picked up the wasp killer because that was a necessity. They were always getting in the garage near the kids little place where their their water fun area. So I had to watch wasp. Wasp are bad in Texas. They really are. Well, I went ahead and added them to my hundred dollar spending limit. If I don't, I'll be out there spending more. I'll be running down to the, looking for more stores. So from the other side I have 48. Figure 10 here. That takes me up to 58. And another 15 that takes me almost to 70. Is that right? I think so. Actually I tallied it up. It puts me at 74.33. I need to quit spending so much because I gotta make it to October 